In this video, I am going to be making dicinamal acetone for use as a reaction progress indicator in the hydrobromination of acrolein, one of the steps in a total synthesis pathway I've been working on. This reaction is almost identical to the method used to make dibenzyl acetone, but as the product is part of the synthetic pathway, I figured it should also be filmed. Here is the mechanism for this reaction, and you can pause the video if you'd like to go over it. Now I'm going to be following a procedure that's listed on Orxin, and I've put the procedure and DOI on screen here. The synth requires 250 mL of ethanol, 1.45 grams of acetone, 5 grams of sodium hydroxide, and 6.6 grams of cinnamaldehyde, which in my case I got from the steam distillation of cinnamon bark. 50 ml of water was added to a flask, followed by 5 grams of sodium hydroxide. Once the sodium hydroxide had fully dissolved, 40 ml of ethanol was added and the mixture was allowed to cool back to room temperature. The 1.45 grams of acetone and 6.6 grams of cinnamaldehyde were rapidly added to the flask and allowed to stir for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes has elapsed, the precipitate was filtered off and washed with 100 ml of water. The crude product was then recrystallized from 200 mL of hot ethanol. After being allowed to crystallize overnight, the dicinamel acetone was filtered off and washed with ice cold ethanol.
The final yield was 3.3 grams, giving a percent yield of 46% from cinnamaldehyde, assuming the cinnamon oil was pure cinnamaldehyde. The melting point was taken, giving an MP of 140 to 143 degrees Celsius, which is very close to the theoretical of 142 to 143 degrees Celsius. The product had a very similar consistency to the Norse pyrrole I made in my last video. The product still had a faint cinnamon odor, likely due to trace cinnamaldehyde, and that may have also caused the interesting crystal matting that you could see when I was moving it around. Though, it shouldn't cause any problems in the future synthesis I have planned. For further purity, perhaps another recrystallization or more ethanol washings would be in order.